Growing up, I was a fan of three things. The soccer team Arsenal, my cat Miso, and the Lord of the Rings movies. But my favorite player left Arsenal and my cat died. But throughout all of this, I stayed a wholehearted fan of Lord of the Rings and yeah, Legolas was my first love. I was like learning Elvish and sewing elf dresses, but none of that made him love me back. So that's when I learned to never change yourself for a man. One of the main companies that worked on the Lord of the Rings movies was Weta Workshop, and they made armor, prosthetic makeup, bigatures, miniatures, creature design, and they've also worked on movies like Avatar, District 9, Turang Narak, Blade Runner 2049, Ghost in the Shell, and I Am Mother that's up on Netflix now. And Weta Workshop reached out to me and we're like, hey, do you want to build a project together? And I was like, can you please hold a moment while I mentally pee my pants? Okay, so what are we thinking? We'll bring you to New Zealand and uh, we'll make you a costume. What do you want to be? We can turn you into anything. And I was like, a shrimp. And they were like, a, sh a shrimp? Like a shrimp shrimp? And I was like, yes, a shrimp, but like a mantis shrimp, the kings of the ocean. But not any mantis shrimp. I want to be a business mantis shrimp. So like a mantis shrimp, but it wears a suit. So yeah, I completely choked and I grabbed at the first idea that popped into my head and that was a shrimp. And then I stood by that idea with the fierce loyalty of somebody who desperately wants to look like they know what they're doing. So I'm flying out tomorrow and then we have a week to build this thing. And I'm also excited to like try and film a short film with this costume, but yeah, we'll see where we end up. I'm gonna become a business mantis shrimp. The kings of the ocean, the creature of my dreams. So before we get too deep into this video, let's talk about what a mantis shrimp is. Mantis shrimp are these colorful, violent little creatures, and they're famous for having this really powerful punch that they use to open up snails. Their punch is so fast and so powerful that it boils the water around it. So they're pretty deserving of your respect and admiration, and in this case, cosplay efforts. And just like that, I'm in New Zealand. <laughs> Yeah, we're here at Weta. They even gave me a key, like a little bloopy thing. <laughs> I've just been like walking around on the workshop floor and it feels so weird to be here. And I'm trying to like hide how much of a fangirl I am, but I got to hold Boromir's sword, which was wild. Like the real one that they actually had in the movies. <laughs> Thanks for being such good sports about this. <laughs> Oh, this is fun. It's always so <laughs> awkward to take Instagram photos and you're just like, I don't know. I never get over the weirdness of it, but it's a part of my job yeah, these days. Close. We've gotten a room assigned where we're gonna build the business mantis shrimp. And I think we're just gonna like go through some sketches and see what we want this thing to look like. So how do you usually make a character? So yeah, usually we'll get a, a brief from a director. Sometimes they'll send through reference images and then just sort of start the kind of back and forth of the debate and um, taking notes from directors on board. The thing is I haven't really thought that much about Mantis Shrimp, but they're like really weird creatures. Really weird. When I was trying to break these down, the colors are so intense and the shapes are so complex that it's kind of hard to tell what's happening in it. It's just chaos. Like fans of any of these things we work on, if you get anything wrong, you're going to hear about it pretty quick. Oh, I, I can imagine that the mantis shrimp community is pretty ruthless. That rabid bunch. There's rabid. a terrorist and you won. <laughs> so I guess you've been talking about building off a helmet? Yeah. It says we're doing this in a very limited time frame, building it off of a helmet and not like making a cast of my face. It also feels like it'll probably just be more comfortable. Yeah, movement is going to be fairly limited and your expression is probably going to be relatively limited through that crab-like exterior there, but... Um... I think anything that covers up my lack of acting skills is really <laughs> good. I'll just, I'll just blame it on the, on the mask. There were some real emotions playing. Tears under streaming under in there. Yeah, yeah no, I, like I, 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 I can cry on demand. <laughs> The progression of this idea was me trying to come up with something and I said I want to be a shrimp. But then it kind of evolved to this like really sad story of this mantis shrimp that's trying to adapt to the human world and is trying to apply for a job. I'm just thinking of like the business mantis shrimp standing and looking out into the ocean and being like, 
I guess I'm one of the few lucky ones. At least I'm not so scared of failing that I won't try. That sounds like a laugh a minute. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna wrap the whole project. That was gold, I think. Yeah, didn't, we're done. Need to build no, we're done. I'm, I'm flying back to San Francisco now. <laughs> I obviously did not fly back to San Francisco, but I did say goodbye to Christian for now and hi to that guy lurking in the background. His name is Bryce. He's been at Weta Workshop for 15 years and I'm pretty sure he can build pretty much anything he puts his mind to. Or as he put it. I guess I call myself a technician. A technician? Yeah. It sounds like such a cut and dry description of what you do. Like a technician makes it sound like <laughs> if my router breaks down. So you've prepared some templates. And this is for I the did. arms? I did. So looking at uh, Christian's wonderful artwork, I've taken his designs. So we're essentially going to just cut these out and build up layers. And then we'll just be able to carve it back with our craft knife. Is it this um, black farm? Yes. Its proper name is Blasters Oat. It's normally used for insulation and packaging. Super lightweight and it's also non-toxic. Wow. Which in our industry is always good to find something that's non-toxic. Well, let's get uh, to it. I might just have glued it a little bit to the table. <laughs> Can I take it on the yard? Right? There we go. Yeah. Oh, look at that. <laughs> that's, a, that's what we call in the business, that's a good start. Yeah? Yeah. I'd probably happily spend a couple of hours power farming on that really? to, get, to get it to where I would be oh, going. Wow. It just makes such a good sound when you cut it. I could listen to this falling asleep at night. This would be like my white noise machine. I have no idea what I'm trying to resemble. <laughs> I feel like we're just trying to like make our best guesses what all the different parts are. But these are like kind of antenna that got out from the face, like a little hair on a mole. What are we calling these, the winglets? I don't know, the flappers? The flappers? And we're gonna put some kind of a fringing running around them. It nice. looks like a peacock feather. Yeah, we're gonna find something that we can use. So this is the helmet that we're going to use as a base? Yeah, so it's all about building our substructure at this stage. Everybody kind of thinks in terms of, oh look at it on the outside, it's cool, but yeah, it's all about the rigging and, yeah. and how it actually goes on to somebody. We've got some thin mattress foam, we're just kind of going to build it up from there. While Bryce kept on working on the helmet, project manager Kylie Clayton, who I am forever in debt to because of this, had found me a real freaking orc costume that I got to try on. Inner fangirl, this one's for you. Good, good pants. Oh man, such an honor. Okay. I think this yeah. might be one of the most exciting things I've ever gotten to do. Is it feeling heavy? No, it feels great. Surprisingly comfortable. Or diaper. <laughs> oh, wow! I think this is the happiest I've been in a very long time. This is smelling funny. I like the smell. A little bit of The smell man. of happiness <laughs> and dreams. And old men, yes. Your socks go perfectly. <laughs> Was that plant? <laughs> <laughs> it's so good. Okay. We're making a little bit of progress. Oh that's, yeah, I can that's actually see. Yeah. yeah, kind of. We can probably increase that a bit more just, just to make it a little bit easier for you. Can I put, I'll put the neck piece on as well while, yep. you, while you're there? Saddle me up like a shrimp. Looking good. Yeah, feeling good. There's just this thing about when you're not allowed to scratch your face, you can't think of anything like that. <laughs> Next up is coating all the parts that we've made. The softer parts are getting a latex coating while the harder ones are getting covered in a cold cast urethane. 
Also, did I tell you that I can't stop thinking about scratching my nose when I'm not allowed to scratch my nose? Uh, yeah, that's a thing. No! Can you pull my cover? Paint. 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 Welcome to the paint shop. Yeah, this is your this is your realm. Yeah, what do you want to do? I mean, I, I'm kind of like going through different photos of mantis shrimp and they all look so different. They just can't get their shit together. They can't decide <laughs> what they want to look like. But I think this is going to be our, our muse. As a painter, that one's kind of awesome. We're quite lucky this particular urethane loves paint. So if you, you just scuff it up, you know, dull it down, yep. and now it's got teeth, something for the paint to key into and stick. Fun. It's amazing, yeah. right? It's so versatile, you can get a lot done really quickly. It's really hard to get it like even. It yeah. is, but then I also think we're not really trying to get it even. even yeah. like if you actually look at nature, it's all over the show. The more chaos, the more randomness, the more real it'll end up looking. I'm having such a good time. Good, oh my good. God, That's the most important thing. Oh, I think I am. All right. She might the just have to turn, turn towards me slightly. Feel it going in there. Is that all right? Yeah. <laughs> Can you see? Uh huh. Yeah. <laughs> Take a photo of right. me. <laughs> it looks so good. Okay. Okay. Now what? Now. <laughs> <laughs> well, there's that project's finished. Thanks, Simone. scared of failing that I won't try.
I'm back in San Francisco, and uh, this marks the beginning of my life as the owner of a business mantis shrimp costume. I feel like people should hire us for their birthday parties. We'll come wearing this and eat all the birthday cakes and like punch some chairs. So we got a mannequin, but it just kept on toppling over on its stand. It was just not strong enough, so he's just gonna have to live his life sitting down. Also, my friend Mel said he kind of looks like a Gary which I think I agree with. So glad to have you on board, Gary. I think you'll find it very enjoyable to work for our company. He's not much of a talker. So I really wanted to film a short film with this, but I ran out of time at Weta because it's like a maker amusement park and I just wanted to do all the things. I haven't even written the script yet, but I think it's gonna be like a really sad movie or like a horror film. I haven't decided yet. Thank you so much to Weta Workshop. The crew that worked on this project are like hands down some of the nicest people I've ever met. And I still can't believe that I just got to be there and build something and have all these like incredibly skilled people help out. So thanks to everyone there. This was truly a dream I didn't know I had come true. That could be the title of this whole channel. <laughs> just dreams I didn't know I had coming true. Also, Christian Pierce, who helped design the Business Mantis Shrimp, made us these t-shirts because I told you, they're the nicest people. You can find the t-shirt in our merch store. There's also a bunch of other stuff there. Link in the description if you wanna check it out. And uh, yeah, you know how the saying goes, the world is your oyster when you're a Business Mantis Shrimp. It's an ancient Swedish proverb. Okay, bye. Oh, that was a lot. <sighs>